Hello and welcome to my channel, AB Make It Artwork, where we do what we do to make that artwork for you. And if you're new to my channel, maybe hit that subscribe button, join the AB Creative Crew. We do sketchy art things. It's been a little bit. I haven't done a video in a couple of days. Um, most because I'm just taking time to myself and I haven't been very motivated to draw much of anything. Today's going to be a ramble, and I know I said my husband was going to be in the next video, but I think I'll be planning that for next time. But to kind of prepare you for that, I want to maybe talk a little bit about my husband before he comes to co-host with me. We might do like the husband tag thing, that kind of silly stuff. As you probably know, or I've probably mentioned in some of my other videos, my husband works in the Navy. Currently he is doing school and that's going pretty well for him. Uh, he is a machinist repairman and a petty officer second class is his rank. I think, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, <laughs> quick backstory, we met in high school in our concert choir class uh is more so like a mixed choir from what like my previous choirs were like but it was definitely like the freshman kind of choir and we were first introduced through one of his friends and it was like a whole bunch of different things involved in that story but basically we met through choir class and at the time i wasn't available when he was trying to meet me. Um, I was in a long distance relationship in a polyamorous relationship. And it was before homecoming that the polyamorous long distance relationship kind of fell out because the other two had broken off the relationship and I explained to them, hey, if either of you breaks it off, we're all gonna take a break and find people who are closer to us. So that's what I did. I decided to text up Marshall, that's my husband's name by the way, and asked him, hey, you still want to go with me? And it was super adorable when we went to the homecoming dance. I consider it our first date, he considers us going to the movie our first date. And he wore his, one of his father's suits. And I can't remember if he had said, like, this is what, this is, like, the suit that my dad took my mom dancing in, or something super adorable like that. And I just thought it was, like, super cute and kind of cheesy that he would wear his dad's old suit that his dad used to wear when he took his mom dancing or something like that. I just thought it was, like, super cute. And we just, like, hit it off really well at the homecoming dance and decided to go for a second date. Second date made for a third date and yeah we quickly became like a thing um we were kind of that like really cute couple i wouldn't say we're, like we were obnoxiously cute but we were really cute um simple couple i say we're not like obnoxiously cute because we're not the type of like couple to get matching outfits or his and hers cups and hats and that kind of shit because, like, I see the appeal in the his and hers, king and queen kind of outfits, accessories, what have you. But it's also kind of, like, nonsensical and silly and kind of douchey, those kind of outfit things. And it feels more like... <sighs> this is, like, a weird tangent to go on with an art ramble. Um, I don't know, it feels kind of cheap and Instagram ready but life reality fake so I'm not really like into that and he's very minimalistic as far as my husband goes he he likes simple he likes routine and I like routine too but I like changing up routines every now and again but when it comes to changing up those routines I love to plan ahead I'm like crazy about planning and note taking and all this shit and he's just more like, uh, let's do it if we're gonna do it. But he's like a super sweetie. It's my muffin, my stud muffin. <laughs> um, I think I'll save some other stories for like another time and maybe talk about this piece. 
By the way, you've probably noticed from like the the difference in sound quality, we actually have a nice mic. We got a we got a blue yeti. It has a that's just a thing that I wanted, actually. But I'll, I'll say it was like an anniversary gift. But speaking of anniversary, um, it was the middle of last week? It was last week that my husband and I had our first year wedding anniversary. And that was exciting. We didn't do anything in particular. Um, we just kind of chilled and hang out, hung out. <laughs> Speak goodly. But now let's talk about like, this piece. I had other mermaid pieces that I had made, but didn't have good footage of it with the drawing process. I'm trying to figure out my little stand for my phone and how to work that so that I have the best angle so when you guys see me drawing in person, doing traditional drawings, you have a good angle and you're not just seeing the stand or whatever. But also my phone's kind of being a pain in the butt with like transferring videos, which it wasn't usually this much of a pain in the butt, but I have to say it's probably because no Wi-Fi and the hotel Wi-Fi isn't quite as good as Guam Wi-Fi, but it's great for uploading YouTube videos. It's actually got a great upload speed. I'm just saying. But with these mermaids, it was just something I drew in the moment and I really loved how they looked when I drew them. And I feel like I've, I keep going to this particular color palette with my mermaids for Mermaid, where they end up having a yellow, orange, or reddish pink color to their tails and all their aquatic accessories like fins and stuff. And I don't know, I really liked it. I liked the ideal that one would be more pink, one would be more orange and browns. Well, both of them have browns to an extent because of her very red brown hair for the one with the pink fin but some of it was just figuring out how to do like the ocean which that was a really fun quick thing that I figured out how to do with I can't remember if I used my pen or my pencil at the time and just had it on like a bigger size but I just did loops and loops and loops and then just blurred those loops out and then eventually just erased and faded out the sides. But you do more loops and erase those areas and it makes a really good like quick ocean effect. Which I thought was pretty handy. Another thing I enjoyed like when I went to fix the hair is that I just used a small pencil brush to add the shading and the highlights and then went with a, a hard airbrush to get bigger chunks of shadow. And I feel like it gave it a really nice texture for the hair. Uh, another thing I did when I went to finish off the color, because most people tend to multiply their drawing layer, in which the original photo and everything, and then put all the colors underneath that layer. Um, once I had all my colors, I decided to duplicate all of the color layers and make them into like screen or overlay layers above the drawing so that the colors had a more vibrancy to them. I think it came out really pretty and created a really nice glow. Um, I think you can see right here, I took the ocean that was like under everything and then overlaid that as well. But I think we're on the last minute of the video. If you wanna find me on any of my other social medias, I desperately need to update my DeviantArt with all the pieces I've been making. You can mostly find me most active on my Instagram. I have a Tumblr, I have a Twitter, and sometimes I use Pinterest for references and those are all linked down in the description down below. I hope you are having a wonderfully creative day wherever you are. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, sketchy art friends. And as always, make sure to do what you do to make that artwork for you. Bye.